Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your daily reading for Thursday, November 25th, 2021. Thursday is the 25th, but two plus five is seven and seven is the mind and creativity. And so already I'm asking myself and thinking like, how can I use my mind and my creativity to help me move forward towards my desires? And what ways am I allowing my mind to be distracted somewhere else? Am I allowing my creative energy to be distracted by something else? Or am I putting it, am I putting it into what I really desire and what I'm working for? Or am I putting it into things that really don't need my energy anymore? Am I allowing people to take it away? Or am I allowing bosses to steal that thunder? Um, and really paying attention to the stories that we tell our minds to. Am I helping myself by, you know, l allowing this old narrative to keep living on, one that we've just ooh, gotten used to now? Or are we tapping in? We're tapping in. Sorry, I'm gonna stop there because I'm just too excited about this. We have Temperance and the King of Pentacles. There's a lot of, like, a lot of strong energy just like helping us out, moving us through this first week. Oh my god, yeah, here it is. We have the. So we have Temperance and the King of Pentacles, and then at the bottom, we have the, eight, the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and then what's hiding underneath that? Death and the Eight of Cups. It's leading you here. It's leading you to success. It's leading you to triumph. It's leading you to the opportunity to grow and to heal into the spiritually mature version of yourself. To get connected to your higher being or your, your inner being, your higher self, and allow your divine essence to shine through, to bring balance, to bring peace in times that feel stagnant in times that feel uncertain or chaotic as they do right now because we're making a lot of changes that you are the you know the grounding presence in your life that you need right because this angel is here one we're protected we have guidance from these angels they're coming here to help us through this transition time but they have one foot in the water one on earth being that this duality of being balanced right you're in touch with your spiritual self and you're in touch with your physical earth self and together you create this alchemy that allows you to create the life that you want to live to get the most out of what you're doing and to trust the process through all of this right and so yesterday we had the king of wands so we're we're tapped into our energy we are using it to motivate us to bring us through you know we are creative we are warm we are you know joyous and happy and then we have the king of pentacles today and he is calm and collective and supportive and appreciative to all the things that he has in his life he is secure he is abundant he honors his power and he appreciates the little things in life right as he lives in this big kingdom where he has all these things he still appreciates the littlest thing about himself because it almost matters the most because even the little things matter a lot um and the king of pentacles is also about spiritual maturity too so coming to this understanding of ourselves and that we need that balance of both to bring them in. It's going to be a big revelation for a lot of us today, so be gentle with yourself as you come through this. Um, the energy is spectacular for the day. And yes, use your mind and soothe those things and tap into your abundance. We can look around at our relationships today and see them as a side of support as the King of Pentacles also represents that there's good relationships going around are around in our life right that they are safe that they are ones of stability and so be grateful and appreciate those things right we walked away and we are we, we walked away and we are now seeing all the things around us that are here for us because we did the work for us right um the king of pentacles has fruit all over him like all he's got these grapes all over his this gown that he's wearing um, his like royal wear and it's like fruit of your labor. So the work that you put in in the last week, in the last month, couple couple months is paying off and you're going to see that this week. But it's important what Temperance is telling us is to stay balanced through that, to stay tapped into your creativity and allow this to flow naturally. We have, she's wearing this, she has this triangle in the middle, meaning her spirit is on top and the mind and body 
or on the or on the bottom. And so spirit meaning the most, and then the mind and the body support the spirit. And so that is what we're all I feel like. I feel like the cards are definitely telling us like that is something that we are learning and going through today, that the mind and the body here support the spirit in the work that we're doing all around us. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, because look back here, this this little, these mountains, which right, those are the things that we go to, the climb, that's life, Miley Cyrus is singing it to us, is this enlightened place. And this enlightened place is where the King of Pentacles is. Is, is what you've been working towards, is your vision of the future, right? He's holding his the saber in his hand. So that is, you know, he has all the knowledge and he has, he holds the potential for his life in his hands. And so do we today. So the King of Pentacles is an earth sign. So we could be dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo in our life today. A masculine energy, gender doesn't really matter, but um, could be more of a masculine energy. Energy could be your sister who has just always been more, you know, assertive about things. And she's like tough, but she comes in today and she brings you this understanding. She brings you something to be appreciative of. And maybe your relationship has blossomed and you can really take comfort in that, knowing that you can go to them about anything that you, anything that you need. And you've created this safe place where you guys, you guys can both express yourselves. So pay attention to your relationships today. I feel like they're definitely going to play a big part. Um, and just just look at all this color. I just feel like, I don't know, color to me is life, is beauty, is joy. And so when I see that, it always makes me excited because it means that there's like good things all around, right? Like beauty and joy in life. So tap into your life. Tap into your beauty and find your joy because it is all around you today. Um, we have the King of Pentacles plus Temperance. I think temperance is 14. I think that's how I'm reading this. Um, 14, thick one plus five is six. Six is the number for temporary opportunity. So we have the temporary opportunity to really rise to the occasion to all the things that we have been wanting and that we have been building and bringing in because there's a lot, there's a lot going on. There's a lot working for us in our favor. And so love yourself through this process, through your healing, through your growth, to really get to a place where you understand yourself, you understand your spirit, you are connected, oh sorry, and you know that you are divine, because we are, we're human, the fact that we're here is just so cool, um, but that's where I'm going to leave it today, I hope you guys have a great Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow for the Daily Tarot Readings.